Okay, I think I'm live. This new thing that they did is pretty stupid. All right, so how do we do this? I don't know. Just bear with me for a second, folks. They've changed studio, and I can't tell if you're live streaming or you're not live streaming. I can't see the chat anymore. Huh. They've changed everything here. Okay. So, if there's anybody in here, do me a favor. Uh, definitely say something in the chat so I can see if this new thing that they've done to YouTube is working. Because, once again, everything's all fangled up. So, I'm actually going to go on YouTube because I can't tell. Because I can't see my own site. Uh, captured top moments. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I really don't care. <laughs> uh, viewer activity. Well, you can't, you can't tell. Oh, okay. There you go, Helen. Hi, Barbara. How are you? Okay. Uh, they changed how you do this now. Huh. Okay. All right, well, I can see the chat here. You just can't see. You used to be able to go to the page itself, and you can't do it. And it's weird because they changed the entire way to do things. I just wanted to say thank you, and I love your show and the games you review. Well, thank you, Vincent. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to go over to my site so I can actually see myself and see the chat like I normally do. And then we will start painting. Wow, it's already... To say thank you and I love your show. How about if I do that? Again, they keep switching up. Well, now they're forcing you to use the new YouTube stu studio when I'm, I, I just got used to the old one. So figure that one out. All right, nevertheless, let's just keep going. And Daniel, how are you? Good to see you. All right, so we gave this a few seconds, and actually I think it was kind of good. It gives a chance to people to come in. Well, guess what? Today, yes, we're doing two painting videos in a row. We did, we did Actually, we did two yesterday and one today. Um, we did a, a, the same thing but different variations on uh, Board Game Geek and on the channel. And... Uh, Remember to mute the sound of the video. Yeah, I'm on top of it. Uh, when when I, it, yeah, I know. It's just it's it's maddening. I want to bang my head against the wall sometimes, because I like the old way because I was able to go to the the actual thing and and see everything. But uh, they change it up. What are you gonna do? That's life. So, uh, anyways, today we are going to be painting Baratheons from A Song of Fire and Ice. And, of course, when I look at this, it shows me... Oh, okay, it gives actually some lag. Okay, but if I come up here, I'm okay. All right, there we go. All right, I think I know how to do this going forward. Actually, be fine. Ugh, ridiculous. So, anyways, um, a real interesting thing in... And we have a lot of surprises going forward as far as a song of ice and fire. I, I keep on saying fire and ice. Ice and Fire is concerned. Um, we're going to be t taking a look at a whole bunch of this stuff. Uh, I was blown away by this starter uh, set. It's the first thing that I got uh, from A Song of Fire and Ice. And I actually have the original set up there that I haven't even taken down yet. Uh, but I saw this. I love the models. And I read the rule book because they give you a brand new rule book in there. And... Um, a lot of cool stuff in there and it's, it's really a great system so I decided to start painting this stuff up and I figure if I get a chance because every time I paint something up Helen and I were talking about because it is a little bit of a one-man show that um, I'll paint something and say oh yeah we'll do a live play of it well sometimes they don't come 
And that's because there's just so much stuff for me to do that I never get around to the back end and finish and do the live plays. Well, we're going to try to change that going forward, especially after I get back from Board Game Geek, uh, because after speaking with Helen today, uh, I came up with a few ideas on some things to do. So um, it's going to be really interesting to see how we do things going forward. So I think you'll really enjoy it. I always have an idea in my head. Not all of them work, but hey, they're worth a shot, aren't they? All right, so, okay, I can see the chat. Why don't we get going here? Um, now, this is the last film that I did where I didn't understand the framework of things. So, some of it might be a little bit blurry. And we might uh, go out of focus a little bit, but bear with me. We get the main gist of things, and I'm sure there's going to be things that I'll stop and skip over. Uh, so... Without further ado, why don't we go to our movie view, which is the endless screen. And now we're going to pull up our video, the Baratheons. All right, here they are. Now, as you can see, and I'm just going to pause this very quickly. Boop. Come on, Rob. Okay, I just didn't want to show up. Uh, the characters are spray painted in uh, white. Uh, actually, it is a Corax white. But the thing is, um, we're not going to be doing the characters today. Uh, that is going to be, well, not next week, but the following week. We're going to have a tutorial on how to do all four of the characters. Because I, I think they deserve their own video. We are. I'm going to show you how to do all the soldiers. And there are a whole bunch of them. So, as you can see, I kind of pulled out one of each type. And I spray painted those Chaos Black. Or actually, I used Army Painter uh, spray on that. And uh, it worked out pretty well. And I made sure that I took one of the flag guys. Because we've got to do the flags, of course. So, as you can see, uh, we're getting ready to get these all painted up. All right. And I'm trying to look here to see. Okay, so here we're going to take some lead belcher. And I try to not put a lot of it on on the brush. And I think I'm just going to close this up a little bit. There we go. And that's actually going to bring it where you can see me a little bit better. Because on screen, I'm actually centered, believe it or not. But um, on YouTube, I'm not. So all I'm doing is just... And I'm going over their dress and everything. Like, well, whatever that mid-drift dress or or whatever but I want to go over everything just to save time I'm not worried because I'm gonna end up cleaning it up anyways and I'm not trying to get a lot of paint on here as you can see I'm just really taking and getting that lead belcher in there and uh, of course I've got to at least drop one miniature at some point or else it will just wouldn't be there minis based in army paint matte black spray primer oh okay that's Helen telling you guys what's going on and as you see, uh, you know, just getting good coverage. Make sure you get all the armor. The good thing about doing this is because you prime them black, you really don't have to get all that lead belcher all over the place. So if you left a little black in there, it, it really wasn't going to hurt anything. You see see how that, that works right there? And let's see if I... I see, i got to keep my thing on the stop button there. Okay. Okay. Er... Uh, uh. Er. all right well we're not going to worry about it but i really don't get a lot of paint on there but it actually kind of helps a bit see and you'll see that that it just kind of goes over and leaves that little bit of black that hammer actually broke off which i found absolutely shocking uh but it wasn't something to worry about because i was able to glue it back on i think it was already loose so it was a big deal. The next thing that we were going to take is some Steel Legion Drab. Steel Legion Drab. And we are going to go over. And what are we going to do with that? Well, I'm going to show you. We're going to pick this guy up. And we are going to start working on... Because on the box, again, just like Cthulhu Death May Die, they actually have some fantastic art outside of the box. Where all you got to do is just turn and, and twist that box. 
and you just have all this wonderful art that you can go over and it really does help you um, and and I go by the box and I did not go by um, uh, maybe what they did on the show or anything like that mainly because I haven't seen all the episodes on the show how about that but I, I'll tell you one thing the one thing that really stands out is that this is probably one of the better tabletop games I've seen in a while. Now you see how thin I, I've got, I got that going on there, um, trying to get that over to black. And I do have it watered down a bit, maybe a little bit too much, but I do put a couple coats over that. And you know, it's just some, you know, sometimes you just gotta put that extra little bit of work in there. And and then we're going to do the same thing here with the steel legion drab and we're just going to go over and just we just want to fill that in and it, and right now it looks like garbage and there's a reason for that because basically we have not highlighted at all we're just trying to get our base colors in there and you can see they got the really cool antlers and stuff like that which is just cool on their helmet helmets i really hey dave how are you and um, Dave, I haven't. I, I saw your email, and uh, yeah, I'm sending that out. I'm giving you everything I have to make things right, just to let you know. I just haven't had a chance to to box it up. Uh, Ryanix hide. Okay, so we're gonna take this this darker, dark, dark, dark brown because, well, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do these antlers in antlers to the helmet i really think that's just a cool cool thing that they do with their helmets i really do and and you know i have to i have to commend uh come on i got it right uh of course we drift off off the thing don't worry yep we come back in there we go i really have to commend them this is a fantastic set of miniatures these are some beautiful beautifully detailed miniatures and they just really stand out all right there we go okay see this is the first time i'm seeing it so and, and the best thing is we get to do play by play ah okay there we go i didn't edit this at all so that's some of the reason so we're going to take that rhinox hide again and just i'm going to use that there as a base and work my way out. Zeblik, how are you? And we're just taking our time and just enjoying ourselves as we do all the time. I'll tell you, one one of the things I do like about this format is um, while I'm painting, I it's like one of the few times I paint in silence unless I have Helen on the phone, which uh, has been something while I've been painting. And we're also going to get those antlers uh, up on that yeah, on that flag post. Because we really wanna we wanna sell that. Just just some fantastic, beautiful models. I mean just taking your time and you and you and you look at these things and, and it's rank and file, which I, a game I love, but these miniatures are just absolutely fantastic. And uh, they just did such a phenomenal job. When you see the characters, okay, now we're going to take some Averlin Sunset. And you can see I already kind of started, but we're going to go put our second coat over the flag there. And I really found that that works. Oh, my God, the sound. Why did I not? Ugh. That's so aggravating when I do that. Thank you, Helen. So much for painting in silence, right? So I'm just taking my time. I'm surprised I, I'm not like swearing and everything during it. Good thing I clicked on the icon that said this isn't this video is not for children. All right, and then we come on the other side here, and I want to keep that that way so we can see exactly what I'm doing. And fortunately, now we have the sound off. There we go, and. You know, I, I, again, you know, I kind of showed you in the front. Next, we're going to take some Retribution armor. And what I wanted to do, because the way it looked on the box, was that we had some really cool 
gold marks in there and what I do is I just go over everything here and just kind of work that in there and hopefully it's not too far off there we go all right and I can move this actually there we go ah, the nature of science huh there we go and uh, just really just working that in there and getting that in there nicely uh, the gold really brings out and, and it works well it's a retribution armor and it really works well uh, all I wanted to do is sit in there and what I, what I do is I go over the outside edges with the retribution armor now it's a funny thing because you're gonna to have to go over this a couple times we need a paint live with your swearing I would look compare it to how much I swear uh, I would win <laughs> And then, uh, as you can see, um, the uh, on their chest plate, they have um, we've painted that gold as well, and it, and it really just comes out nice. Uh, next is a let's go back a little bit because I I don't think I saw that very well. All right. Okay, that is a Doom Bell Brown. Sorry about that. And we are going to take our Doom Bell Brown, and we are going to paint some. Some they have some of the. Let me move this over a little bit so you guys can see because I'm actually in the screen. There we go. Move that over here. Oh, there we go. All right, now we'll move back. <laughs> Don't get seasick, anybody. All right, so. I'm going to go over some of the belts and everything like that in that Doom, Doom Bell Brown. And it just kind of works right now. It really does. It, it, it works out very, very well. We're going to do the same thing here. As you can see, I also on, on this guy, I, I took the Retribution Armor, did their crest. And I'm not too worried about the Avalon uh, Sunset. As you can see, you can see some of the black through there. But that's not to worry because of what we're going to be doing next. But just taking, getting their belts. You know, we're, all we're doing is getting some good base coating in here. And really working that in there. And boom. There we go. Let's see. We should fade. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just, I'm checking everything. Make sure that we got everything. And you, you want to check because a lot of times you miss certain areas. You want to make sure the flag staff, we, we got some of that. We went over that with it. And we put the big fella down. Now we're going to take Newell Oil. Now this is where we darken everything up. This is, you know, I do this a lot. And especially, particularly with armor, this is something that you really want to do. You, you know, you don't want that very flat. And it'd be nice if I went within, oh, there we go. See, I, I, I check myself a lot better in this one. But I really get it in there. And look what that does. All right. Uh, I mean, really, look what happens here. All right. This is a perfect example of, of what I talk about. And I, I, you know, I preach it almost in every single video we do is that we go and we take and and we try to build depth. OK, so getting this wash into all the recesses and you can see how now that darkens up and it gives some dimension to that armor. It's the key to armor. You always lead with your with your. Um, you always it's always good to lead with with your lead belcher, which kind of makes it look. It, it you know it it gives you the silver, but then when you put the newel oil over it, your wash over it, it's going to darken things up. And then there's always the next step that we'll show you coming up, where. We, we really get this darkened up and then we give that metallic feel because you know armor it's just not just this giant shining thing it, it it's it's amazing how light hits things and does things and how you can really make it more realistic and that's exactly what we're doing and as you can see here i'm just moving that around nicely getting that in there and making it work 
and I'm just going over and I'm moving around. I'm not letting it pull up. Uh, there we go. Get your hand up there. Again, like I said, this is the last one. I, we've got a plan going for it. Again, here's another prime example of this, actually, how this is going to go on there. Look, it goes on really kind of thick, and then, and then you just start working it in there. And I, I'm trying not to hit the, um, the uh, cape that he has. And the reason being is that we're going to use another wash for that, but a different colored type of wash. But if we hit it, it's not going to do any anything wrong. It's not going to ruin anything. It's not going to make anything go completely bonkers or anything like that. And then, boom, you know, off onto the back, sh uh, back uh, of his elbows and stuff like that. And I'm not, again, you know, you try not to hit, hit the cape, but if you do, don't worry because you can go over and you can see what we're getting right there exactly and i move things around getting ready to oh yeah here you want to hit this guy because this dude is just and i'm not going to hit the inside of the shield but i don't mind hitting his crest because i just know what i'm going to do and how i'm going to bring out that chest plate godzilla lover how are you i'm actually wearing my godzilla shirt today one of them one of the many And I was thinking of you, and I actually put a, a a picture up on Instagram and and Twitter. Um, my my Christmas ornament, my Godzilla Christmas ornament, got scra scraped up, so I had to do some repairs. But it is safely on the chair uh, on the tree. As you can see, see how I go around that gold. I'm not trying to get in there because I know I'm going to go over with with uh, another wash over that. And there we are. We're just working that. And I'm moving it around. I want it to be dark. I want it to get into the recesses. Because I'm going to bring that all out. Now we're going to take some Agrath Earthshade. Because we shoved it into the camera where you can't see it. We'll fix that. And what we're going to do here is now that everything's nice and dry... Actually, it's not all the way dry. I actually use this and yeah, there we go into the shield. Now look what that does. Do you see how it takes and dulls that that gold? That's exactly what I want. But I'm gonna, I'm really gonna take a look at that. And I'm gonna say, well, you know, I really need, and I don't mind moving it around on some of the armor just to give it a little bit of a rusty type of feel. And I'm gonna pull some from that shield, I believe. Because we don't want that shield as dark as it is. Yeah, see? And, and and you just use your brush and you kind of put... When it pulls up, you pull it off. I do pull more off eventually. But we're going to go over this flag now. Look. Look what happens. Now all of a sudden that flag has what? What do we talk about? You know, we sit here and we talk until we're blue in the face. About how we want to create depth. And, and, and you know, lifelike shadows and light and it, you know it's a very amateur way to do it yes but you know the whole point and, and and everything that we try to point to is towards you you know the first time painter a lot of you out there are omni gamers and you and you know you put a lot of dudes on a map and stuff like that and uh you, you know you don't have time to paint but i like to show you so maybe maybe you might get the bug. Maybe maybe you just say, you know, I'm going to give this a try because I try to make it as easy as possible. Because really, when you know when you put out a game and it has a certain theme, you can build theme by painting your models, and 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 it just adds to things. And 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 again, you know, I've said it a hundred times. There is a sense of pride that you know, hey, you know, I painted those. What it, and you know, you have your game group come over, and there's just this wonderful feeling of accomplishment and all the things that you do and as you can see we are just moving that around nicely and that's all you got to do it's as easy as that whoa see we had to drop the model at least once at least once and i know what you're going to say well rob why don't you get one of those holders come on move it into don't I... you see i painted those squares a little I needed to move the camera down. That's the problem. But I'm getting a different camera stand that is going to focus in on certain areas. So uh, we're, we're going to do a few things. And I've actually thought 
of running a cable to the screen so I can see it on the big screen instead of trying to look up all the time at the little screen to see if I'm in range. But we'll get there. Now here's here's where we're going to do the selling point, okay? Uh, we're going to take some Rune Fang Steel. You can see that up in the corner there. We are going to take some Rune Fang Steel. And this is what you look at. Look what I'm doing here. I'm taking a majority of it off, off the brush, working it off nice and easy. Bing it a bang it a boom. If that's what we want to call it, right? Oh, there's an amber alert. Right there, my, my thing. Okay, I got it. Thank you. All right. And now very lightly look at look how much i took off and look what i start doing here i, I i'm barely going over it, but look how all of a sudden this the metallic start to come through because if you were just to put that rune fang steel on by itself okay it, it would just it would have it be so one dimensional okay it'd be very very one dimensional and what we want to do is we lightly want to go over. Now look at look how it brings out this just incredible. And even though I'm using a bigger brush, I'm just able to just very lightly look right in that kneecap. Bang. Look at that. I'm working it in there. I'm not too worried about going over and hitting the... Uh, I'm being very careful and very methodical in what I do. But all I'm trying to do is just bring a little bit. See how on those shoulder pads, how that just really starts to stand out. Now I go back over that guy a little bit when I get a little bit more paint. But when you run out of paint, see, and, and even if you don't have a lot of brush, if you push a little harder, you get a really nice effect working, working on there. And I'm saying to myself, you know, I need to reload a little bit. Why don't I go over to the why don't I go over to the paper towel very soon? Um and I'm thinking about it. Oh yeah, there he goes. I go, okay, listen. I really don't feel like reaching up and turning the camera off. I'm just gonna do this. And I gotta be careful because sometimes when you reach over you get a little bit too much on that brush. And you can lose a lot of effect if you just go too far. That's why it's really good just to go very, very lightly. Nice and easy. Look how I work on, on, that, on that knee piece a little bit. And then I come in the back here. See the depth right there? Hold on. Let's, oh, come on. We're, we're going to go back a little bit. We're going to go back a little bit. Let's see if we can catch it. One more time, and I'm going to pull the video up a little bit. Come on, turn them around. Turn them around. Yeah, into the kneecap. We think for a second. All right, right there. Let's see if I can pull this up a little bit. Actually. Bear with me. Bear with me, folks. Okay, there we go. So, I mean, I mean, look at that. Look, look, look at the way the armor... It looks like there's light hitting it, okay? Because you have this shade and then you have bright spots of the armor and you have little things that are happening there. Really take a look at the back piece of this armor because this is a perfect view in, in, in the camera. We have, if you could see my mouse here, hopefully. Yeah, and I'm trying to move it up a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit. Okay, there, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking on, on on the chat here okay look where my mouse is see the depth in there and that's such an easy thing to do it's just really just taking a little bit of that room fang silver there's three steps to this and you get this incredible effect it's just very easy to do and it's a, it's a, it's actually a confidence builder in a lot of ways you know if you never painted before take the chance just find something with just straight armor on it and, and put your lead belcher on, get your wash on there, and then very lightly dry brush, you are going to feel so much better after you do it. You're really going to be amazed at what you are able to create. Uh, uh, do I stop it? No. So we kind of, as you can see, we're right there, and, and now we're going to do the same thing here. I reload the brush a little bit. We're working the big fella here. 
again, again. Even though I did, you know, it's a little bit heavy there. It's okay. It really works. See, do you see what we're getting there? And again, pointing it out. You see how you you create this incredible light. Okay, when it, it, it gives you shadow and depth and, and, and really brings out some of the detail of, of, of what is some superior models. I mean, these are just wonderful. There's no putting them together. There's nothing hard about it. They just go together and, uh, I mean, you just pull it out of the box and you are off and running. And, yeah, we take the stake there for the ground and work our way in there. And, you know, I like a darker tone here um, because it just kind of, it really works. We're going to work. I really want to be careful here because of the the, the crest. But, um, you know, I do go over it a few times for sure. They look amazing. So much definition and detail. Well, thank you, Godzilla lover. I mean, look at that. That's a, that is textbook. We need to work on the midset. We're going to take the Averlin uh, sunset again, and we are just going to very lightly start to bring that flag up a little bit. Remember, we're what we're trying to do is just kind of bring out some detail and and just bring a little bit more to life. Remember what I said. I'm not too worried about how that coat goes over because I'm going to go over it a couple times and really bring out the detail that we want to bring out and you know let me tell you something you go into battle how many flags really look great okay now we're going to take some sigma right which is a dry paint from citadel i really like some of their technical paints they really do some amazing things here and this is where we're going to kind of work this in there and and watch how the gold comes to light watch that watch that there we go. And what we're doing here is we're bringing, and I forgot to do that part, so I just go over right with the Sigma right. I could skip the whole process if I wanted to, but, but just a little bit, just to give an off color a bit. But just going inside that shield a little bit, it really just brings, it really makes that goal sit up. It really does. I mean, look at that. You know, just taking my time, working it through there, making sure that we get the exact exactly what we want. Look at that. And see how that crest just pops just by taking and doing that. And that crest just sits right up there. It's exactly what I, I want to do there. Now I work on the flag a little bit more, but uh, Gorthon Brown, we're going to take that and, um, and I'm just going to kind of highlight some of the upper parts here. There you go. And I'm just going to, after, after that dark wash, see how that brings, and sometimes some of the flat parts I can use and you could see because of the wash, how much it darkened everything, how just, just kind of taking some of the high points and some of the parts that got too dark and just just by by doing that it really it really just see that that's a perfect example right there where i had too much wash there but by just taking that and working it into the flat area and then working some of the higher end parts it builds that depth that i talk about and shadow and i kind of just lightly go over that headpiece a little bit just very just I'm very into this, like, these dark characters. I, I, I you know, the, there's nothing bright about anything I do. And uh, maybe because my soul is just dark. I don't know. Maybe maybe that has to do, do with it. We can, only Helen can answer that. Oh, that's drop number two. Hey, Rob, how about using that holder that your son-in-law made for you? A bat in black. Okay, so we're going to come strong with the bat in black here. And I am just going to... Um, hit that crest a little bit and bring that out a little bit because you got to remember we hit some of that with with you know we, you, you, you're not going to get it perfectly 
but uh, you are going to yeah see and then we're gonna go over the crest here in the shield because their crest is this gold and this black and the stag is black and um, and what we're just gonna do we're gonna make sure that we covered the stag perfectly take our time we got a nice small brush there and we're just working and making sure hitting that high area yeah there we go that's it just nice and easy and then we're gonna have that stag all painted in there and it's gonna look really what we want great game and great minis glad you're covering it Rob uh, Gaddison I have so much coming for this uh, you, you have no idea we have a part two for the Barathians where you're gonna see everything finally done uh, but we we've got some surprises that are coming and um, you're gonna see some really great videos of this game that's the best I could do. I'm gonna all I do is take some PVC glue or Elmer's glue, whatever you want to call it, and I just spread it along the base here. And I have a little cup there. It's actually a, an old cover to uh, a game that that had some things, but I always find it easy, and I keep it around. And I keep it in my my brush box, and I use it when I I do these guys. And all I do is just with my big mitts in the way. I use uh, this flocking, and I'm going to show you because you can get it at a hobby star store. It's 12 bucks, and it lasts you forever. As a matter of fact, I've had it forever, and I, I really love this grass. And what I do is, then I take my finger and I go around the outside, and just by doing that, boom, insto base. Because these are rank and file guys, and the way they sit in there. I really don't mind and again I'm moving the glue around and I just try to keep it simple especially with a a, a, a bunch of guys where you got about 50 or 60 guys that you, you're going to be doing this base uh, I, I know the show uh, a lot of people like to do the snow bases uh, for these I just figure I change it up and do a little, a little grass for these guys I'll probably do snow bases for the Starks um um and do something completely different for the Lancasters and, and some of the other things that you're going to be seeing that we're going to be doing. Uh, and I'm going to save some surprises. Again, just pink, 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 pink. Just keep it real simple. And I think sometimes simple is enough. You know? Especially with a rank and file. I mean, those just are going to sit nicely in there. And I really like what we're doing there. Uh, there we go. Static Grass Flock uh, from Woodland Scenics. Uh, yeah, Hobby Lobby, twelve ninety nine. Really, really simple. I got a few different things. I have sand. I have all kinds of different stuff. But it really goes on there nice and easy. And really just uh, something easy to do. I mean, just, just, just an easy, easy, easy process to do for sure. All right, let's close this out. Boom. And we're going to go here. You can see I've got a whole bunch of these, and uh, uh, let's uh, yeah. See, we we got Cthulhu Death May Die coming up. See, I kind of I piece all these together one at a time. So, but we 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 I think we have like a better feel of, of this and how we do this. So, yeah, I see it. Man, that 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 creature was disgusting to do, and but he was cool as anything. I like that dude. All right. Well, that's a video for another time when we come back. I've got to put those together. Yeah. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Oh, let's go to me. Hey, there we go. All right. See, really simple. The rank and file guys. I did those in, in, in I think, two or three hours. Really, really easy. Line them up. Mow them down. And when you're done, you go, wow. Okay. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Um one of the things I, I wanted to save is when we start getting into the details of doing the characters. I wanted to make that a separate video, and then we'll be done with this box set, which is fine. So, what would come after it? Well, guess what? We've got you know we got the Baratheons. We got to have some enemies. So we're gonna be painting up some some people to go against them, and then you know I can't promise everything, but uh, I'm going to try to do a live playthrough, me versus me. 
but it's a, a you know good way to show it um we've, we've got a lot of cool things coming up especially with a song of ice and fire i am completely enthralled with this game i really really think yeah isn't that a cool shirt look at that there we go i love that shirt this is one of my favorite my uh i think my daughter got it for me oh, i forgot where i got this shirt I, i'm losing my mind to be honest with you um or yeah i think my daughter got this one for me oh okay well that's a story for another time we're we're, we're trying to get this up look at this 41 minutes I, I i mean really keeping things tight and that's the whole point of this series is being able to to read your comments being able to walk you through it i got to do a little bit better on the camera work but trust me stick with the program here I, we really got something special and i really think that we're going to get where we need to be and um i i think it's it's a a, a great way to do things and i can get ahead on things and work on other things and such and so forth and so on Whew. all right i think i've said it all if you have any questions this is a great time to ask them especially since i'm going to pull up this other screen here this is so confusing this thing coherent concurrent views okay whatever there you go Oh, the, actually, the chat is really cool because it goes a lot deeper and you can actually see a lot more. But but how do you... Okay, okay, the super chat's there. Um, yep, show your support for Rob's table. Okay, so it does have everything there. Okay, all right. Uh, a little confusing, but we get through it and that's for doggone sure. Shows that the stream's healthy. Of course it is because... We just paid a ton of money for new internet, and uh, we spent spent a lot of money just so I can sit out here and paint toy soldiers. That's the way the wife saw it, at least. But I told her, "Hey, you can stream Disney Plus now." Yeah, that went over like a lead balloon. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out the new studio when it flipped for me. Yeah, it's a it's a little difficult. Uh, Zebuk wants to know what you use for snow. I actually have, and well, that's a pretty interesting question. And let's reach into our box of greatness. Okay, where's my snow? Hold on, hold on. We've got a few cabinets here. Well, it's awesome when I don't know where anything is. But that's par for the course because that pretty much just sums up who I am. Uh, I actually have a tub just like that, like this, uh, for snow. Um, they actually make a great snow and it works really well. Uh, but what I t tend to do a little bit is that I'll take the snow and I'll mix it with the Elmer's glue and just kind of paste it on a little bit. And then I'll take some gray rocking, which I also have. So I'll show you that. It's probably right in front of me. It's just, I'll take some of this, which is fine ballast. And I'll put that down, so it kind of makes like, a, you know, like a, like it's ice hardened sand. And then I'll put the snow over the top, and it really is a nice effect. We will be doing it for sure, especially in this game, you know, because it's, it's, you know, ice and fire. Let's call it what it is. There you go. Uh, basing with white glue and green flocking. Usually, oh, that's Helen uh wood exceedingly makes a, a good snow yeah they really do they make some great things and uh you're going to see some of it in uh the diorama that we're going to be doing um very soon and i think you'll really like what we do there because i've got some i've got some ideas this that, that has become very personal to me and uh and there you go that pretty much sums that up 
So, winter is coming. It sure is. It's coming in many ways. It's coming here to the arena. It is coming to everyone in the United States and this side of the world. And most of all, it is coming to our game table very, very soon. We'll be watching for it. Thanks. Yeah, and like I said, we're going to try to... I always say, you know, and, and Helen and I were talking about it. Hey, we're going to try to do that. Like we have Black Seas here, Master and Commander. Uh, you know, you, I've got so many great things that we're going to fit in. It's just a matter how we fit them in. All right, listen, this is 45 minutes. I think it's perfect, a perfect length for, for our videos. And uh, we'll, we'll fix some of the, the technical is issues that we run into. So just bear with with it uh we'll get better at this this format just stick with us and i promise you uh you're gonna see some really great stuff uh, that i can promise so here's what i'm gonna tell you tomorrow's never guaranteed folks love the painting videos format and excited to see what's coming next black seal uh, seas looks so drool worthy yeah wait till you see what i do with it you guys are i love painting ships and it's one of my favorite things matter of fact i got a british versus pirates i have to finish painting that we never finished that it, it it's just you know one man one brush <laughs> that's the best way to put it one man one brush hey i love you all you guys are best you guys know it I have some of you I've told personally how much you mean to me. And I'm going to tell you one other thing. Be good to each other. Be good to each other. Make the world a better place. It really means a lot. We, we have so many wonderful people in this community. And I'm very thankful for it. We don't have to be the biggest com community in the world. We just have to be ourselves. And everything else will fall into place. And that's all you can ever ask for. And I'm very thankful for each and every one of you, especially with Thanksgiving coming up so very soon. Next week, no painting videos, unfortunately. We are going to be at Board Game Geek Con. If you are going, hey, make sure you stop me and at least say, I can't stand your videos, dude. You need to clean it up. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have to take it on the chin a little bit. But if you also just want to say hi, that's okay, too. Until next time, it is your old pal Ram telling you, as always, be very, very, very careful, okay? Because if you're ever surrounded by a mob of clowns, make sure you go for the juggler. We'll see you soon. I have to wait now. I have to wait. Wait. Wait for it. Stop the stream. <laughs>